Hey guys, AntiD999 here. I'm back again with another video. Um, while we're bridging here, I just thought I would show you guys this little graph. I know it's annoying, but it says that 96% of you guys, I think that's what it says, aren't subscribed. And also, I want to thank you guys for 70 on TikTok. It's, uh, it should be right up on the screen right now. But nonetheless, let's get right into our game. So, I feel as if I want to get a win. Right? We're always going for the win. Going to make a nice, easy bridge just for speed because my teammates are hogging the stuff down here. And then when I turn around, I'm going to remind this guy with this nice reminder that, hey, that's stairs. Congratulations. You need stuff if you want to go to middle. And then I'm going to buy what I need. Going to speed up this footage because it's really boring to just watch me buy things. And get a few blocks, a few building materials, all that good stuff. A little bit of gold for some golden apples and stuff like that. Um, and also get a diamond pickaxe. Yep, mm, there we go. So, funny story. In the process of editing this, it just wouldn't allow me to do my, uh, my sound recording. Wouldn't allow me to put it in. So I had been sitting here for like five minutes getting this to work, and it finally worked. So we almost didn't have a video or a delayed video. But um, heads up for you guys, this is going to be the most full month of the whole year with my videos. I haven't even finished making them all and setting them all up at the time of recording and editing this video here, but... There's 11, not counting this one, which is insane to think about that there's 11 videos this month, and you can expect them to be doing pretty well. And if you want more news about when videos are coming out and you want to suggest video ideas to me, you could do that right in the Discord. The link is in my YouTube description. I have been getting a couple comments here and there asking what a couple of the terms I use are, and AFK means away from keyboard. So the person's not currently doing anything. They're not moving. They're not doing anything. And you can take advantage of that sometimes. But I kind of find it a little bit unfair sometimes. But um, also, you can find my Discord link to get to the Discord in, the, in my YouTube subscription. So on my YouTube channel page, if you go to About, there's three links. One of them is to my Discord. And that should clear up most of the questions. Our next big goal here is 70, but my checklist shows 100. So if we could do a 70, 80, 90, and then we can hit 100, that would be a huge moment for us. But like I was saying, uh, I just want to thank you guys for 70 on TikTok. It's, it's been a little bit of a grind. You really think you were going to survive that with no armor? It really surprises me how people think they could just come to middle without anything. I mean, like, I never go to middle without at least full leather armor. And full leather armor isn't that expensive. I mean, like, it's... What? What is it? It's, um... If you got the builder kit like I use, you start with a leather helmet, which is pretty good. But then you just have to spend three iron, one iron per piece of armor. And you're going to need, oh my gosh, what is it? You're back. Look, see, this person has got the builder. Oh, no, you have money. I don't want to fight people who are better than me because that scares me deeply inside. All right, here we go. Hopefully, I can become a pro minecrafter here in bridge. Yes, mm-hmm. All right, and, oh, look, you don't have armor. You can come here if you want. Oh, you're going to box yourself in, I know it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're not too bad, I'm not going to lie to you. All right, but here's how this works, right? I just have to go up one block. Now, you could try to hit me to the side, but it's not going to work because you aren't that smart. All right, so why is there iron on the ground? So, yeah. I am going to get myself some boots and some blocks. 
that'll be smart. Lots of blocks. And some more golden apples. Because healing is nice, and I like to be able to be healed. And here's a blue team, bud. So I've got my full iron armor here, right? Which is going to make it fairly easy for me to be safer when I'm fighting. I'm going to go off to the side and grab some of these diamonds. Most people don't grab these ones because they're not as good as the one in middle middle. But it's, they're good. It gives me diamonds and pl Who did you just kill? I can tell you what's going to happen. Oh, no. You know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> you actually allowed me to escape. That was smart. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm good at this content. Mm-hmm. Alright, I don't have the most amount of health. But that's fine. Oh, I forgot I wasn't crouching. Aren't I smart? I'm so smart. All right, so I'm going to grab a few more diamonds and things here and there and not spend them on my team whatsoever because I'm going for the win. So if I can do this, this, and I can go jump, 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 and go back to base because I have enough diamonds. Hello, human. All right, so I don't really need anything in there. I'm just going to go right back to base. So here we go. I'm going to make some good PvP content today. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to follow me because I'm the best there is. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to get a bow. Why a bow over a diamond sword, you ask? Because... Shooting people is nicer than slapping them with a sword. For example, if somebody's towering up, I can shoot them. They take damage from the arrow. They take fall damage. And now, even if they have a better sword and slightly, like, maybe one piece of diamond armor, I can still beat them. Because now their health is significantly lower than mine. You see, teammate, this is called a magical... It's a magical thing. It's a, called a pickaxe. You use it to break blocks quicker. You should get one. Maybe some armor, too. All right. I'm going to sneak in here. I'm going to get things. I realize dark blue has four people, red has one person, and we have our egg, which is a good thing because that means we can respawn. I'm going to come over here. Nope. I'm not. I had a voice crack moment. RIP my soul. You are intelligent and probably a lot stronger than I am. I'm going to tower up. You're going to walk away. I'm going to stand here peacefully and get blocks. I'm going to intimidate you with arrows. Are you scared? I bet he's scared, all right. I'm smart and I know how to do parkour. Don't ask questions. All right, here we go. All right, so this base is my base. Red team is headed over to kill me. So that means I'm going to God Bridge. And he's killing my teammates. So here's how this is going to work. You're going to start running away. I'm going to chase after you. I'm going to jump down. You're going to run back. You're going to realize I'm rich. You're going to be scared. And I'm going to slap you with a thick combo. And then I'm going to thick combo you again. And it doesn't matter how rich you are. Because now you no longer exist. Now it's a 4v3. Which is pretty good considering we can respawn. And they can't. Because they are noobs. Oh my gosh you exist. I'm not going to fight you. Because I don't feel confident in my PvP abilities right now. So there's four of them. Uh, this isn't the best situation to be in. I'm not going to lie to you. But they will go up on the roof. Hopefully we are good at... Oh, no. That was smart. I forgot I was unshifted again.
If I go in this entire game without dying, that's pretty good. Ooh, I made that jump. That was amazing. Ooh, an arrow. I can actually use that. Um, some people might be wondering, why do I keep my... Oh, no. My teammates seem to like to not wear armor, so... This is going to be a very fast death for all of them. Oh, no, one of them's dead. It's a 2v4. No. I'm not feeling too confident in my PvP abilities today. That's fine. I, I think me and my other teammate can do this. Mm -hmm. You look... Oh, no, it's a 4v1. All right, um, here's how this is going to work. If I'm able to win this, you guys have to subscribe. Because I am no Minecraft PvP legend. I am just some guy who... Why? Why does this happen? All right, so this is a 4v1. You are standing there not looking very intelligent. I'm not going to lie to you. Because I... Am going to annihilate you. 4v1, here we go. I'm going to win this. And you're going to try to survive. Your teammate's going to be bridging and building and stuff and going the middle. And then apparently going back. All right. So since you don't seem so confident in your abilities by just standing there. I'm going to knock a bow shot on him. Or not. Dude, this guy is so annoying. How about you uh, get shot right about... Nope, not then. You're going to get shot one of these times, I guarantee you. It's that one. Ha-ha. Oh. All right, your teammates still seem to be nearby. You're building, so you're distracted. So I'm going to jump down here. I'm going to slap you when you're distracted. Slap you a lot. Oh, my gosh. I did it. It's a 3v1. It's a 3v1. I did that. All right. As long as I'm not taking them all on at once, I should be fine. I can just pick them off one at a time. I would totally be putting some amazing epic music in the background, but I don't feel like I have the energy or capabilities of finding epic enough music. Parkour legend. Mm -hmm. So they don't have an egg, which I don't have to worry about. So that means I could just pick them off way easier. So there's one of them down inside middle middle. But I think I don't want to deal with him. And just in case all three of them gang up on me, it might be smart for me to buy an enchanted golden apple. Because those are extremely overpowered. For the sake of bridging, I'm going to bridge like this. Oh my gosh, it might have been them who killed us. I'm running pretty low on blocks. My teammates apparently don't know how obsidian works. Which is very dumb. So, I would like a diamond sword now. And an enchanted golden apple. And the way I organize my inventory when I get enchanted golden apples is I buy enough golden apples where I can use that inst instead of steak. Because, sure, it doesn't restore as much saturation as steak does, but I will constantly be having, like, resistance and regeneration due to me always eating golden apples instead of steak, which is a very good thing. And this is good... Due to the fact that I can get jumped, shot, or anything at any point. So, I... I saw something under the corner of my eye here. I'm pretty sure that's a blue team attempting to attack me. And it is. Hey, look, we're fairly even. And by fairly even, I mean you're about to get annihilated into oblivion. Like, look at this guy. He's not even got golden apples. Too bad I'm too fast, bud. Like, I'm able to get, like... Wow, that's that's a good number of hits right there. And then fall damage knocks him to one. Two to go. I can win this. I can pick up the win on this. 
I'm completely outnumbered. And they could probably kill me if they sent the last two at the same time. But, because I'm smart, I'm going to go attack them before they're ready. Which means I should be able to pick off one of them. But if they're together, I should probably lay back and not go for them. So what I'm going to do right now is go and get some diamonds and stuff and buy some uh, golden apples. Maybe start saving up for diamond armor. Um... Yeah, that sounds about good to me. So, I need you to jump here. I'm going to bridge up here because I like to be on the roof. See what I mean? I mean, like, I eat a golden apple and I have regeneration and resistance. And it feeds my hunger bar a little bit. And they're a, quite a bit cheaper than the enchanted golden apples. That's why I use those for a main food source instead of the, um... Enchanted golden apples, because that would just be ridiculous. I mean, like, that would be 640 diamonds for a stack of enchanted golden apples. Nobody spends that much on enchanted golden apples, like, ever. Okay, so there's a guy in there. I'm going to shoot at him for the intimidation factor. Then I'm going to just start rushing in a little bit at a time. He's going to hide. I'm going to shoot towards him. He's going to do his weird little dance, and then I'm just going to go yeet diddly deep, boy. You're going to get slapped. Aha! First hit has been landed. He apparently doesn't know how PvP works, so that means I might have a chance. And then it'll come down to a 1v1. Now, in this case, I am faster running, but every time I hit him, he gets knocked just a little bit further. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to break their bridge a little bit. That way they're intimidated. Because intimidation is nice in life. I understand that they could just build it back. But the idea that I would take the time, risk being attacked, just to... Oh my gosh, he upgraded this generator to the max. No wonder why they're so rich. This is amazing. Now, hopefully I can afford to get some diamond armor, which would be very good. Because that just gives a whole new level of protection that iron just can't. As it is the best armor in this game. And I'm going to grab a lot of gold because I need arrows and golden apples. To keep up my food... And to uh, keep up my arrows. I can't shoot if I don't have ammunition. So this is looking like it's turning out fairly well for me. I mean, like, they're not coming back, so I'm assuming they're intimidated or they're getting filthy rich. I hope they're not getting filthy rich, because that would be very bad for me. I understand it might be a good investment to um, go and max upgraded generator of my own so I could stay in the safety of my base. But, in case you guys didn't know, first, I have to fix the generator if it's broken, which is 5. And then if I want to get it to level 2, that's 10. So that's a total of 15 already. And then to upgrade it for the final time, that's 25. So that brings it to a total of, um, what is it, 45? Oh, you have armor. You have armor. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that you have... Oh my gosh, he has a bow. That's a lot of armor. Are they both full diamond? They're both full diamond. Right, this is not good. I'm probably going to lose this game. You might even have a power fight bow. Or a punch bow. A punch bow would be really overpowered. Oh, one of them fell in the void. It's a 1v1. Now, I'm severely undergeared here, but now he feels I've been able to wipe out the most of the rest of his team without the help of the Void, for the most part, right? So, due to that idea, I might be able to win this. Now, he's getting iron, so if I just turn around, uncrouch, and leave, he shouldn't be able to see me. And I'm going to fall, because I 
I'm amazing at parkour. So, since he's on his iron generator, I'm going to take the diamonds from middle. And that's quite a bit of diamonds there. I'm pretty sure there's the emerald generator that works too, which is going to be cool because I've never used emeralds before. Because they've just been an unnecessary, silly, expensive thing to buy. And he doesn't seem to be coming. Which is okay, because I'm not going to be dead. Now, he has full diamond armor, which is really overpowered, considering it's the best armor in the game. He has full enchanted prop 4 diamond armor. And if I were to fall there, that would have been it. That would have been game over. He would have won. Now, that's why I can't afford to lose like that. So, I am going to start buying some diamond armor to bring myself to the same type of level he is. And spend a lot on arrows. And I need to remove some of this extra armor out of my inventory. This is just way too much armor. Ooh. This is interesting, actually. I might buy some of those speed potions. Because if I can run faster than him... Then I'll be able to be surviving for a bit longer. And I might be able to do a way better combo if I'm faster than him. So I'll take that ability very nicely. And I will very slowly but surely make my way back to middle. I would never thought emeralds would be this helpful. I've seen people using potions before. I just didn't know the emeralds buy them. So, I have a couple of emeralds. It's not a lot, but it's fine. It's a good amount. And this is going to be a very good, um, successful thing, I feel. Because he's not coming to attack me, which leaves me with a lot of time to get diamonds. Which means I can buy more enchanted golden apples. I'm not going to finish buying the rest of the diamond armor when I can buy enchanted golden apples, which is basically, like, having that much resistance from... Something edible that I can use multiple times is basically like having the equivalent of protection a billion for like a minute. Which, who wouldn't want to have prop one billion instead of prop four? Which is way better. So I'm going to sneak in here, grab some iron, probably buy some more things because I need things to survive. Alright, so I'm going to buy some more golden apples to keep my food up. And I'm also going to buy some blocks. I definitely need to clear out my inventory very soon. I noticed there's a cake here, which is very weird, I'll say. I'm going to get rid of some of this extra stuff I don't need. Your sword doesn't really break in Egg Wars, so I don't need to have an extra one. And... As for the rest of the things here, I just want to have a nice, clean, sorted inventory. And I might have just eaten the wrong golden apple. Yep, I ate the wrong one. It's fine. It's just really expensive mistake to make. Because that's 10 diamonds I just lost by eating the wrong golden apple. I wanted to get my food up, but I bought the wrong golden apple and ate the wrong one. Now, I was meant to eat a regular golden apple, but that's not so good. It's not good to be eating the enchanted ones accidentally, because I, I, I need them for when I'm fighting the guy. So I'm going to head to middle, and I'm going to uh, hopefully get enough diamonds to replace the apple I just ate. And I'm going to build this bridge, which is very difficult to get up, considering there's basically no base to it. It's just straight up to the middle. Now, I usually do this, and my teammates, what they do is they just go, yeah, I'm not climbing that, I'm just going to build straight across, which completely defeats the purpose, because now there's a clean, easy bridge to get across for the enemy, which is bad, because then they can break your egg. So I don't see them coming near me, so I should be fine to stand here for a bit. I do have some extra emeralds now, which is a good thing. And with these emeralds, I might be able to buy another speed potion or something like that. I might even save up and buy a fireball, because that could end up saving me later. There are eight, so if I can get eight, that'll be good. 
which would be a very nice thing to have. So, if I can just stand here and get enough stuff, that'd be pleasant. I'm actually getting a lot of diamonds right now, which is good considering I might be able to, uh, to buy a lot of golden apples. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to go, and I'm going to get the golden apples I need. Probably Godbridge back to the base because I feel like it. All right. Build up a little bit. Nope, I am not feeling safe right now. Oh, I knew I saw arrows. I'm going to place this, and it's going to be in his way. There's nothing he can do about that there. You see, now he doesn't know how to deal with that. So now that I'm under the cover of this, I'm going to get up a little bit above where my previous Godbridge spot would be. And Godbridge. By the time he gets here and tries to shoot me, I'll already be within a safe reach. And I understand I did leave him a clean, open bridge. But that's for the sake of me being able to get here faster and buying what I need. So if I do that, I can build a nice, easy wall, protect myself, go up here to the very top, and try to build myself something safe. Now, I'm going to drink a speed potion right here, right now. That way I'm fast, and he won't know what to do quite. So he's got his bow out, and he's going to land a couple hits on me. He's already chugged a god apple, which is fine. I can wear down those effects. But the thing is, he might even have a way better sword than me. But my response to that will be just shredding through him, and hopefully some of his armor will break. See, if his chest plate breaks, I might be able to survive this. I took a piece of that cake, because switching over to an apple and eating it right now would be highly impractical. And I'm shredding through this guy's golden apple effects like it's nothing. Due to him not being able to respond to my, uh... To my amazing, amazing, amazing comboing. Now, he's going to probably build himself into a corner here, glitch me out a little bit, punch me with a block, but that means I'm only doing more damage to him. I'm going to hop down in here with him and do a couple crits. I do realize I'm in a tough spot now, but this is just taking risks. Now, if I can land enough hits and do enough damage to the guy, this might end out very well for me with me getting the win. I might need to eat another golden apple, which is a very frustrating moment. My armor is breaking, so I'm going to try desperately to get out of here. Oh my gosh, he's hitting me perfectly so that I can't break the block. How about you go in a corner and you leave me alone there, man? Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. Okay, now my golden apple effects are way better than his. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out here. I'm going to bridge up here. And he's going to try to shoot me, but I'm way too fast of a builder. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to relax a little bit. I do realize my golden apple effects are going down every time that I'm sitting here doing nothing. But it'll be fine because he's too slow to shoot. And I'll just eat a regular golden apple. And he's going to be here, he's going to sit here, he's not going to realize, oh wait, I could have shot him off. But, uh, my speed is still fine. So if I could hit him off the edge here, and get a good enough combo on him on the way down. Oh, there we go, perfect. If I had reacted to that a little bit quicker, I would have been fine. Now, I have a speed potion. I'm not sure if he does, he probably has like regeneration or something. But this only means I can do more damage. Because I'm faster. Now, my health is extremely low here. If he shot me, if he shoots me, I'm doomed. But luckily, I have a regular golden apple. If I hit that... Oh, I was so close. Now, this might turn out very well for me. He could have killed me right there. I'm at one heart. I don't think he realizes it so easily. So, I'm going to go up here and do a very smart move called go up and heal he's gonna shoot me down it's fine i take a little bit of fall damage and a little bit of damage from the uh the arrow i could probably try to sneak away and get myself a uh, new helmet and a new set of boots but it's it's not worth the time right now 
Now, I'm going to eat a golden apple, and I'm going to get up a couple of blocks. I noticed he's kind of left and disappeared, and I'm going to fall down here because I missed my jump. But it's fine because he's leaving now. I can turn around, go in here, and buy a couple things I might need. And he notices I went back. Now, I'm going to try to sneak in here and buy myself a uh, fireball, blast ball. Now, what this might be able to do is get me to knock him backwards. Why did it pull him closer? That's not what I needed. It's quite the opposite. And that's turned out horribly. I was hoping to get a knockback on him. Okay, I've gotten the first hit in, but he's hitting the heavier hits. I don't have an iron helmet or anything like that. Now, this is a very close call. If he had taken the time to shoot me, he probably would have finished me. And that was close, considering I was on half a heart. Now, this isn't good, considering he's just punching me and punching me and punching me. I should probably go for a speed potion. But right now, I'm going to go for a golden apple instead. For a couple. And I'm going to knock him back, intimidate him with my amazing comboing skills. And then he's going to get a short little combo on me, knock me back. And then I'm going to push him into a corner and make him scared. Because I'm just good at video games. Now, I'm going to get a few crits on him. Hopefully, that's enough to knock some damage down. Now, his golden apple effects may be wearing off soon. I could probably try to block him there, but it's fine. I didn't need to. I can survive otherwise. Now, I'm going to go down here and immediately start doing this. I might tempt him near me to try to shoot me off the edge, and then I'm going to block off that opportunity completely, slamming the door in his face. Now, his reaction to this might make him win the game, and it might not. I do realize I have enough gold where I could probably afford to get myself a chain helmet and chain boots, but I'm not going to take that chance. Alright, so he did eat a golden apple. He's completely unsure of what he's doing. I have no idea. This guy is very good. Props to him. He's amazing at this game. And he's making this very hard on me for winning. I don't know this guy personally. So there's no way I could have rigged this for me to win. So. This might just done very well for me. I'm just going to go up here and kind of relax. He's probably going to show up. And I'm just going to box myself in like this. Like you see me do multiple times. Now, my armor is really close to breaking, which means I need to finish this very soon. Now, I can pop a quick speed potion, build up one block, unshift, and now comes the intimidation of the speed. Because now, I am 30% faster at the very least. Now, there's nothing he can do to escape me. But there's everything I can do to escape him. Now, that problem is he just backed himself into a corner. Now, I can just slap him here for about five minutes and wear down his armor a lot. But here's the problem. In that process, I'm wearing down my armor. I do know that I have... Oh, no, this is not good. This is going to cause me to lose. I'm going to box myself into this corner here. It's a tactic you guys probably seen me use a couple of times by putting an unbreakable wall behind me. A few blocks above me. Hopefully, because he's clearly better than me, as you can see by his stuff, will lure him down because he's cocky, and he feels he's better. Now, doing that, it will make me have a clean shot to just immediately punch him towards the edge. Ah, and he's fell for it. Now I just need to kind of bow him a couple of times back towards the edge, and if I do these kind of half-shot things, there we go. I won. No guys left. Won the 4v1. There is the win. Thanks for 70 on TikTok and have a wonderful day.